We went to Tule Springs in the fall of 1962 with an interdisciplinary group uh, to check out the claims that had been going on for that site for about 30 years. In 1953, uh, Finley Hunter from the American Museum of Natural History was surveying in the area, and he found what he thought was some charcoal and a obsidian flake and some camel horse and bison bones and collected the charcoal. So that uh, years later, when C-14 had been minted, had been uh, invented, he sent that to Dr. Libby in Los Angeles and got a date of 28,000 years, which really shook up <laughs> the people interested in that subject. Then Dr. Harrington from, Harrington from the uh, Southwest Museum went out and did some survey in the same area that Finley Hunter worked in and found some more charcoal and a, a couple of bones he thought had been worked. And that was uh, saved also until uh, the radiocarbon system was available, and they got a, a uh, date of 23,800 because it turned out to be a mixed sample from some other site. In the spring of 1962, Dr. Willow Def called a conference in Southern California of people interested in early man studies to try and sort out what exactly was going on. These claims for ancient <laughs> occupants of the area had begun to, to um, accumulate and nobody had enough information to solve any problems. So at the end of that conference, it was decided that Tule Springs would be the ideal place to carry on because we knew there was a lot of stuff there and uh, so uh, it was recommended by Dr. Robert F. Heiser at Berkeley that we have an interdisciplinary study at Tule Springs with me in charge, and I was at the time at the Nevada State Museum. So we very quickly wrote up a, a uh, <coughs> request for money from the National Science Foundation, which we got, and we showed up at uh, the Tule Springs site, which is 10 miles west of Las Vegas, uh, October 1st of 1962, and with a uh, crew of, including pollenologists, geologists, Dr. Vance Haynes, who has come on to be the great authority and early man in the New World, and a number of students and paleontologists and so forth, it was totally a interdisciplinary study. The outcome was that we were unable to substantiate the 23,000 or the 28,000 date for the occupancy of people there. But we did find a lot of uh, fossils like Campbell, horse, mammoth, and bison that were 40,000 years old. Well, of course, we're much deeper in the stigraphy. But we did obtain what I think are three bone artifacts, which date between twelve and 13,000, which fits right in with all the claims that are coming out now, 13,000 and Benacroft, 13,000 and Monteverde and places like that. So <clears throat> I think we have to take another look. <laughs> but to accomplish what we did, we were able to obtain uh, the world's two largest bulldozers, a, a DC-25 and a DC-30, loaned by the Caterpillar Company. And we were able to crisscross the valley with uh, stratigraphic trenches up to 30 feet deep and the width of the, of the blade on the bulldozer. And with that, Van Thain was able to uh, develop a complete stratigraphical sequence for the Tule Springs Valley. And uh, we ended up with a publication that thick 
and I think it was a good experience for the students and everyone involved. And now that uh, they seem to think that the global wall has really been broken, I'm going to have to go back and have another look at our 13,000-year-old, quote, unquote, bone artifacts. <laughs>